Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Chris again coming to you for our second week of our disc golf series here during UREX Mayhem uh, Maymester programming. Today I want to talk a little bit about uh, disc golf equipment. You know, the first and foremost most important stuff, the discs. And then th from there some other things that you might look into purchasing depending on how serious you get about playing. Um, that can help make the, make the round a little bit easier for you. So as far as discs, there's really um, pretty much three main types as far as um, we have a putter, which is going to be a little domier and won't fly as far. We have a mid-range disc, which is still somewhat domey. The edge is not quite um, real sharp and pointy, but it's going to fly a good bit further and do some other things. And then, of course, we have our drivers, which if you can see here, the edge is really beveled meant to go really much farther and fly much faster. Um, probably the most important thing when you start to look at disc is to understand the flight ratings uh, that discs have. Every disc has a four number flight rating and when you're purchasing discs it's really important to understand that because for someone who's a beginner uh, those numbers are really important as well as as you get more advanced it becomes more important to understand what disc is going to fly the best for you. So when I talk about this flight rating system, I'm a right hand backhand thrower. I'm throwing right hand backhand most of the time. I'm gonna refer to the disc that way. If you're a lefty, it would be basically the opposite, right? And we're talking about backhands. So as far as that rating, I'm gonna show you here. This disc, you can see those four numbers. Um, the first number is the speed rating. And speed is basically just how the disc is shaped and how fast it can cut through the air. Discs have a rating from a 1 to a 14, 1 being the slowest, 14 being the fastest. Typically as discs have more, a higher speed rating, means that they're going to be a little bit more overstable. It's not always the situation, but I'll talk about that as we get to the next part. The second number is the glide. Discs have a glide rating of 1 to 7. Again, the higher the number, the more the disc will glide. The lower the number, the less. And if you think of a putter as typically going to be a slow speed number, a slower glide, then you, as you move up, those numbers will change. The third number is probably, in my opinion, the most important to understand. That is the disc, that is turn, or what we call turnover. Discs, discs are rated with turn from a plus one to a minus five. As you get into the minus range, the disc is less stable. Stable is when you throw a backhand right hand how much a disc wants to hook to the left So if it's less stable and it has a lower number of turn a minus five when I throw a backhand flat It's actually going to turn over and go to the right Instead of the typical stability wanting to take it left left So again for a beginner with a lower arm speed maybe trying a disc that has a, a, a lower a minus number in that turn is going to be better for you um, and then the last number is the fade. Fade is rated from one to five, and fade is basically how much the disc at the end of its flight will want to turn back left for a right hand backhand thrower. So it's kind of the opposite of turn. So again, that's speed, glide, turn, and fade. And again, that's gonna be really important because a new player is gonna have less arm speed and have less power. So you wanna start off with discs that might be slower and have that turn number in the negative. And as you get you know, better and more power behind your throw, those will change. That's probably the biggest mistake I see with new players is they wanna go out and get the, the fastest disc, which might be really overstable, meaning that a backhand right hand, it really wants to go left. And you're limiting yourself with the amount of actual power um, and really flight you're gonna get out of the disc. So that number's really important. Um, so, so those are probably the most important thing you need when you're starting as far as equipment. There's a lot of different manufacturers, but if you go on a website to buy them, you should be able to find those, those flight ratings to help you make a good selection. So the disc. So then we'll talk about probably the next most important thing when it comes to equipment, and that's something to carry your discs in. If you only have a couple and you're just getting started, you know, it's no big deal just carrying them around your hand. But there's lots of different options for bags. This is a really friendly starter bag. You can put about seven or eight discs in there. It has a little pocket in the front for your putter and a little place for 
a bottle of water or something to stay hydrated because when you're out playing if it's hot you want to have something like that so really friendly starter bag um, as you get more competitive and maybe if you're playing more formal rounds or even tournament rounds you're gonna have more discs so you're probably gonna need a bigger bag um, a bag like this is what I have uh, I know a lot of my friends would tell me this is probably overkill but it's got a lot of all the discs I like but it also has tons of storage for other things um, it's got two water holding things and it's actually a backpack so it makes it much easier to get around the course if I'm playing two or three rounds in a day having something like this. And I've had this bag for probably three or four years and it's in really good shape. Um, it's got like, like I said, lots of storage. So some of the other things that I always have in, in my bag that's important, I feel like with equipment, I'm always gonna have towels. And I have all this in this bag. I always have towels. If it's muddy or wet, you're gonna wanna wipe your discs off to, to keep them um, flying good. Um, I always carry some sunscreen in there. That's a nice thing. I mentioned in the first video that there's a, a whole rule rule book on disc golf. So I actually carry my rule book uh, in my bag right there. The PDGA official rules of disc golf. And these aren't things you have to have. These are just things that I have. And as I as I play more, I have a what we call a birdie bag. It's actually just something that has dust in it or chalk. And if my hands are wet or sweaty, I can use this to kind of keep them dry and help me get a better grip on the disc. Um, let's see, another thing that I have that I keep in my bag is what I'm actually sitting on. I have this stool here that folds up. If I'm playing a long round in a tournament and there's a lot of waiting around, you're going to want to have something to sit on. But that is probably the main stuff that I would say is really important when it comes to equipment. Um, other things people will have in there, you know, if it maybe maybe a pair of socks. If again, if your feet get wet and you're out in a wet course, people carry umbrellas. Um, if you have your phone, your keys, all those things can fit into this this bag pretty easily. Um, so yeah, get out there, experiment with those discs. I would definitely recommend checking out the flight ratings and understanding that before you make a purchase. That's going to be the most important part. Um, I'm out here at Westover Park. It's another local course in Harrisonburg. It's got 21 holes, a beautiful little place. Uh, pretty good for beginners. A lot of room to get out here and throw. So hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Have a great day.